today we're going to be doing effective meeting management. So a lot of people work in the project management space. A lot of people work in the solution space, but something that's quite overlooked most of the time is meeting management. We, we have so many meetings every day. We have, we conduct so many meetings, um, during the week and during the months, but to effectively coordinate the meetings, to effectively make sure that the meetings are useful, the key decisions are noted down, the action items are uh, making making sure that we capture the action items. That is quite a tough job to do. And today we're going to be talking about just that, how to effectively manage meetings, how to effectively note down key action items, key decisions, how to make sure that everyone who is invited to the meeting has their agenda in place so that they know what's be, what's going to be discussed in that meeting and then how to make sure that we leverage the power of automations on Smartsheet to ensure that these agendas, these key decisions and action items are sent to your invitees in advance so that they can use that in order to ensure that this continuity from one meeting to the other and to understand who is accountable for what action items and who's what are the key decisions that were made in the meetings. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the sheet itself that I'm calling it the meeting log. This meeting log is something that we leverage with a lot of our clients. We use this as part of our engagement um, logs tools, and we make sure that we follow and we use this meeting log to, again, enhance the experience of the continuity in the meetings. This sheet here, as you can see, has quite a few columns. It's not a lot of columns, but it's to ensure that you, you're capturing the important uh, items from each meeting. So we've got the meeting name column here that you can use the different meeting names. I've listed down the numbers as meeting names. So meeting one, meeting two, but you can use meeting names, the column for different actual, like naming the actual meeting, what it's supposed to be about. Meeting date. So it's recording the date that you're actually having that meeting. Meeting recording link. A lot of the times when we have meetings, we record the meetings and we usually have a link where clients or team members can go and view the meeting recording. So we have that meeting recording link column here. Next, we've got the invitees. So invitees is anyone who is invited for the meeting. For the purposes of this webinar, I've added myself as the invitee, as I have some automations that I'm using. So all these automations will be triggered and then it'll come to my email. Therefore, I've added myself as the invitee, but the invitee is a multi-contact, for example, and you can add multiple people here who are going to be attending that meeting. We've got a checkbox column called send agenda, which is linked, of course, to the agenda column, where the agenda column lists the agenda and send agenda column is used for triggering automations. Next, we've got the summary section where we've got the meeting send meeting summary checkbox. And then we've got the key decisions column and action items column. All right. So I did talk about uh, quite a few columns. I'm going to talk about how each of the columns is going to be leveraged in the meetings in order to ensure there's continuity, there's effective meeting management happening. So this meeting log, um, first of all, is leveraging the meeting name column. Here you can, as I mentioned, you can use this to name this as a weekly meeting one. If you have a weekly meeting recurring series, you can name it as the actual main item for the agenda. So you can say something like um, finalizing the scope for a certain project. You can name this however you deem fit. And that way your attendees, your invitees are following what is the meeting name. Next is the meeting date. That's where you're recording. When is the meeting going to happen? Right? So for example, I just had one meeting today, so I'm going to write down meeting number one, and then I'm going to record the date after the meeting is completed. I'm going to put the meeting recording link here. So the link that I have that any attendee can go and, um, access. So that'll be a URL. I'm going to double click that pasted in here. Um, next before the meeting, starts, I'm also going to ensure that all the invitees are mentioned over here. So for example, if I have a team meeting going on, I'm going to put all my team members in here, which is a multi-contact. So it's really helpful. Next, the agenda. So my goal is that the agenda is sent out at least one day in advance of the meeting. So for example, if I'm having a meeting tomorrow, I want to make sure that the agenda is sent out by today. 
uh, latest by midday today, right? So that's my goal. And I'm going to ensure that using automations, which we're going to discuss in just a few minutes, how do I make sure that the agendas are sent out? Send meeting summary checkbox. So this again, as I mentioned, this is where the key decisions and action items are logged. So you're, you're going to be logging the key decisions that were made during the meeting. So in the meeting, if you have a meeting of five people, one person can ensure that they're listing down the key decisions that are happening in the meeting on here. Right. And next, if you have some action items that are captured, for example, in the meeting, they say, oh, we want to make sure that John sets up the weekly meetings and Catherine is able to create the project work plan. So those two action items were noted down in the meeting, in the action items. That way, everything was captured during the meeting. Of course, sometimes you may not have time to capture these in the meeting. And as I mentioned, again, the best practice is to note down these items during the meeting. But you can also update these post the meeting. So once the meeting is completed, you can come in here, note down all the key decisions and then the action items. Now, the most interesting part about this meeting log and the effective team management webinar that we're going to talk about is the automations. How do you leverage the automations that Smartsheet provides and how to make sure that the agenda is, for example, sent one day before the meeting takes place? How do you ensure that the summary for the meeting has been sent out to all the invitees who attended the meeting? So let's dive right in without any further ado. So we've got, I've got four um workflows here that i want to talk about today i've got the at the meeting recording workflow send agenda automatic based on date workflow send agenda based on checkbox only workflow and then the send meeting summary workflow so those are the four workflows that are really effective for me when i'm doing effective team management sorry effective uh, meeting management and i want to ensure that you also use this and that way it's going to enhance your experience when you're using this meeting log the first one is the meeting recording. A lot of the times what happens is the meeting recording is not uh, is not something that I have in mind. Oh, I have to put that link from my Teams or Zoom into my Smartsheet meeting log. So I ensure that I do that by making sure that the automation tells me that, oh, there is a missing meeting recording. Where is the meeting recording and update the meeting recording? So I have an update request. If you're not familiar with update requests, um, I can quickly run you through what, a, what an update request does. An update request um, basically asks for some information from any person you're assigning this update request to be sent out to. And it's asking specific information that you want, you want them to update. In this case, um, I have the trigger when a date is reached, which is one day after the meeting date. So if if it is the day after the meeting, so if I have the meeting today, tomorrow at 10 a.m., I'm going to be reminded if the meeting recording link section is blank, then I'm going to be reminded that please add the meeting recording link or the attachment for this meeting. Please add the meeting recording for the meeting conducted yesterday, meeting information. So it tells you the meeting information. When, what was the meeting name? What was the meeting date? Who were the invitees? And what was the agenda? And it also includes all, you can include all fields or you can include specific fields in this case. For this update request, I'm including only specific fields because I only want myself to include the attachment for the meeting recording or the meeting recording link itself. So that way this automation, which is an update request automation is telling me that, oh, it's, it's 10 a.m. the next day. There is no meeting recording. Please update the meeting recording. And through that email or the notification on Smartsheet, I can update the meeting recording link right away, which is such a cool feature. So I would definitely encourage all of you to, uh, to use this meeting recording um, automation. If you do have meeting recordings that are something that you do all the time, if you record your team meetings, if you record certain meetings, and if you wanna make sure that you have a log of all this, you wanna use this automation that reminds you the day after, at early on in the day so that you can update that. So that's one. Next automation that I'm really excited to share with you about is the send agenda automation. The send agenda automation is really cool because um, it's definitely a pain to you know keep drafting the uh, same emails again and again when you wanna send out agendas for each meeting. 
And definitely setting out agendas is so important because you want to make sure that there's cohesion in the team, there's cohesion on the meeting as to what are we discussing about and so that you do not digress, you do not go on tangents and you want to make sure that you're coming and sticking to the agenda. Therefore, I have two automations that I want to share with you today that are really, really cool and that really enhance the effective meeting management piece of any project of any kind of team. So let's, re let's reflect the third one here first. So send agenda based on checkbox only. Let's look at that one here. So this automation, what it's doing is it's triggering off sending an agenda to all the invitees in your meeting. And it's doing it by using the checkbox column. If the send agenda checkbox is checked, then all of your invitees get an email that says, here is the agenda for our next meeting. And it includes, hi team, here is the agenda for our next meeting meeting name on meeting date uh, agenda and it says the agenda and please let me know if you have any questions best regards my name so this here i'm not sure if you all are familiar with the ability requests but when this is included when there's two flowery brackets or two brace brackets attached to a word what it does is it pulls in that columns information into the message in the automation which is really cool so for example if i save this here I go back there is an agenda column it's pulling in this information from this cell automatically into that automation and i had a chance to actually trigger this before this webinar started so let's see if i have a copy perfect i have a copy already i just opened it from my email so this is how it looks when you come back to your um when you come back to your email for example you will see and if you are included as one of the invitees you'll see the agenda says, hi team, here's the agenda for our next meeting, meeting one on the date. And then it tells you agenda, scope discussion, implementation schedule, collaboration discussion, weekly meeting setup. Please let me know if you have any questions. Best regards, Amin Al, which is my name. So therefore, it basically is like an end-to-end -end loop of you had them, you have a meeting, and then one day before you can trigger that send agenda, and it's gonna send that agenda automatically for all of your invitees, which is really cool. There is a second way to do this, which is also really cool, but it does require, of course, some discipline. Um, so I will show you this one as well. So this one is based on a date and to ensure that meeting agendas are sent one day before. If you are a team that plans meetings in advance, a week in advance at least, then I would definitely recommend this automation instead of the other automation because it will leverage the meeting date column and it's gonna send the agendas automatically without you triggering them for that date. So for example, when a date is reached and when you, you want one day before the meeting date, that's when it's gonna trigger at 3 p.m. It's gonna send out the agenda automatically. However, of course, if you have not entered the agenda on your sheet, there will be nothing that will be sent in the meeting, in the email. So therefore, I have a condition that says, is send agenda checked as well? So the trigger is going to be one day before the meeting. If the send agenda is checked, then send that to contacts in a cell, which is the invitees. So all of your invitees will automatically get this email one day before. And it's going to be, it's going to be, of course, checking whether the, there was an agenda that was entered in the first place. Right. And it's going to say the exact same thing. Here's the agenda for our next meeting. Hi team, here's the agenda for our next meeting. And it's, it sends out a beautiful agenda in an email. Hi team, here's the agenda for our next meeting. And then the agenda is listed. And then please let me know if you have any questions. That way, the effective agenda management is been taken care of. The next piece I wanna talk about is the summary itself. So what happens after the meeting has been conducted? So the meeting summary. This automation is basically ensuring that there's effective meeting management after the meeting has been conducted. So the agenda automations are taking care of what's happening before the meeting, but what's happening after the meeting is also very important to ensure there's continuity to ensure what's happening after. So this one is saying when rows are added or changed, change send meeting summary has been checked. So this one is specifically triggering based on that trigger where you're saying is send meeting agent summary checked that's a column once it is checked it's going to send that in email to all of your invitees which is going to say here's a summary for our last meeting 
Hi team, here is the summary for our last meeting, which is meeting name held on meeting date with the following agenda. And the meeting summary had key decisions and action items. Please let me know if you have any questions. So let me show you how that one looks like here. Just opening it from my email and that's how it looks. So hi team, here is a summary for our last meeting, meeting one held on uh, 9th of May with the following agenda, scope discussion, implementation schedule, collaboration discussion, meeting, meeting, weekly meeting setup. And here's the meeting summary. So key decisions, finalize scope and schedule in the project work plan, weekly meetings to be held on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern time, action items, John to set up the weekly meetings, Catherine to create the project work plan. Please let me know if you have any questions. You see how it's so effective and so cool how you can leverage these automations and it's an end-to-end -end effective meeting management. So you're going from the meeting name and meeting date, which kind of sets up the stage for you. And then you're setting up further stage by having the agenda and the invitees list. And then you're also sending the meeting summaries after the meeting has been conducted. So for someone who is using Smartsheet for the first time and automations for some time, this may be quite a lot. And we can definitely help answer any questions um, for you, but someone who's already using update requests, I would definitely encourage you to use this because this will enhance your meeting management with your team. And they're going to love it because they're going to be, there's going to be more cohesion within the team because you've sent out the agenda and you've sent out the decisions and action items right after the meeting.